here is a glimpse of this beautiful no sew men's vest which we are going to learn in this project the written pattern for the same will be available too namaste friends welcome to learn with j empowered by magic needle this day i am here with this beautiful vest whose glimpse we saw just now for this particular vest i have used my hobby store iron baby cake yarn with color code 3027 for the main body and hobby store iron yarn which is premium acrylic anti pill yarn royal blue with color code 2004 for the ribbing so let's go into the video without any delay and i should mention that i have used my h hook 5 mm clover crochet hook to make the entire project chain 91 having made 91 chains yarn over the hook and place a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and one half double crochet in each stitch each chain all across so you will have 90 half double crochets at the end of the row chain one turn and place your half double crochet in the very first stitch and one half double in each stitch all across so at every row at, at the end of every row each you should have 90 stitches so maintain the 90 stitches in each row and continue for 51 rows complete the 51 rows and get back so I have completed the back part of the vest. This is the length of our vest. Okay. So I have taken 91 and had 90 stitches by 51 rows. Now to work the front. Now you count 34 stitches from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 32, 33 and the 34th place your stitch marker. Okay, this is going to be our armhole. So 33 we are going to have for the armhole. From here we are going to join the, from the 34th we are going to join the front side. So for the front, chain 34. Make 34 chains now place one half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and one half double in each stitch all across continue one half double crochet all across i have made <coughs> the 33 half doubles now it's time to join to the back part at the armpit <coughs> so we have marked the 34th stitch as the armpit so we'll make a half double crochet into this stitch here Now one half double on each stitch all across. So while joining ensure that the right side is facing that is the row 51 and the row 1 should be on top. This is the right side. So continue the half doubles. I shall complete the row and get back. 
at the end of this first row for the front chain one and turn and place one half double crochet each on each of the stitches all across so make totally 10 half double crochets for the front complete 10 half double crochet rows I shall also complete and get back I have completed 10 rows of half double crochets now from 11th to 25th row we are going to decrease one stitch every row on the next side so remember from 11th to 25th we are going to decrease one stitch when you work forwards and backwards at both the, both the times you need to decrease one stitch for giving a v-neck shape okay so the 11th let us work the 11th chain one and turn now place your first half double crochet on the very first stitch and you are going to decrease in the second and the third and in the next simply pick up the loop and make it into one if you yarn over both the times the stitch will become too heavy here too thick to be visible okay it will become too thick see I will work out and show so as you work two stitches together yarn over pick up again yarn over pick up from the next stitch so it's going to become a lumpy stitch so thick to avoid that you can yarn over once uh, once pick up the loop from the first stitch and again pull it up to a little high as high as the hdc again pick up so this is fine and now work one hdc each till the end of the row all across so when you come back for the 12th row also you are going to work two hdc together in the last two penultimate stitches not on the very last stitch so this gives a fine edge the decrease is very finely done in this manner so continue from low row 11 to row 25 one stitch decrease in the neckline complete and get back so completed one side of the front portion so we have reduced the stitches from the 10th row onwards up to 25th row okay now it's time to work the other front so snip off this yarn To work the other side, you have to turn your work into join from here. So this is the inner side, this is the inner part, and this is the front part, side, front side, right side. Okay. Now you join this yarn. To the very first stitch here. With a slip knot, slip stitch, and make a half double crochet in the same stitch here. Now one half double crochet each on each of the stitches. Till you reach the stitch marker. So we have reached the stitch marker that is the 34th stitch from the shoulder. Place your half double here in the, in the 34th stitch. Henceforth, you are going to make 
chain is foundation half doubles for 33 stitches else you can fix another yarn attach another yarn here and make 33 chains and work your half doubles on those 33 chains so that is the second option now yarn over insert your hook into this bottom loop pull out a loop now you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through one first and yarn over pull through all three so one half double is done now yarn over now turn insert your hook under the bottom both loops so this is the one half double done now in yarn over insert your hook under both the bottom loops pick up the yarn pull through yarn over pull through one first yarn over pull through all three of them the second half double is done again the bottom two loops pull through one and pull through all three so this is a chainless foundation half doubles so work 33 such dub half doubles i shall complete and get back i have worked 33 half doubles and made the armhole now chain one and turn place one half double crochet each on each of the stitches all across make 10 such rows including this first row you need to have 10 rows and then we will decrease for the neckline as we did for the other half of the front part okay i shall meet you once i complete the second front part completed the other side of the front after joining from here and this is the reverse side i have kept reverse side of the front and the sweater is on the reverse side we are going to slip stitch and join to each of the stitches here aligning the front stitch by stitch slips just first slip and then slip stitch into the back loop of both the sides sorry i did the single crochet we are not doing the single crochet method just slip stitch slip stitch till the front neckline neck depth up to this and fasten off and post this work after slip stitching we will do the joining of this uh, shoulders again from the back side we will do the slip stitch and join back side again the shoulder also will slip stitch join and fasten off then we will add the ribbing for the neck and the ribbing for the bottom okay let me complete joining the front part of the vest and then also join the shoulders and get back to you <coughs> welcome back to the last part of the vest i have completed the slip stitch join method on the reverse side and on the front side it looks like this the joint is not seen at all here see here okay similarly i have joined the shoulders too now it's time for us to work the ribbing uh, around the neck around the arm holes and in the bottom edge to work the ribbing i have used my Royal Blue, <coughs> Aaron Premium Acrylic and Tipil Yarn. Okay. To begin, I'm going to use one side smaller hook. I have worked the body with 5 mm crochet hook, and for the ribbing, I'm going to use 4.5 mm 
crochet hook so slip stitch and join the last stitch of the front part one one front one side of the front part place a single crochet into the same stitch one single crochet in the next stitch on the other front so this is the middle so these two are the stitches we joined now place one single crochet each and each of the stitches all around I shall complete and get back so ensure that each row each row has got one stitch so it may appear to be a little farther but that is how we need to work otherwise the ribbing will curl inside and it will become wider <coughs> So each row should have one stitch. So that will be <coughs> around 25 here. So go around and get back. Complete the placement of single crochets. I should also complete and get back. I have completed the single crochet round around the neck. Now the number of stitches will be less the number of stitches of the shoulders on either side front and the back <coughs> okay at the end slip stitch and join to the first single crochet now we are going to work two double crochet stitches over these two stitches two double crochets together first one twist an incomplete double yarn over and an incomplete double over here <coughs> henceforth place one double crochet each on each of the singles that we did all around complete the double crochet round and get back At the end of the double crochet round, slip stitch to the very first double crochet we did, join. Now, it's time to make the post stitches. The first post will be around these two DCs together. And the next stitch it's going to be back post front post back post so continue the stitch repeat all around at the end of the round join and fasten off completed the neck ribbing now it's time for us to make the armhole ribbing so here we are not making any single crochet round we are directly working into the stitches again join the yarn on the row on the back side the last row of the back side with a slip stitch pull up the loop to the height of a double crochet and make a twisted incomplete double crochet in the stitch yarn over and incom incomplete double crochet in the next stitch the, the first stitch of the front portion 
and now complete the 2DC together. Henceforth, place one double crochet in each of the stitches all around and work the ribbon in the similar fashion as you did for the neck. So complete for both the armholes and get back. Completed the armhole ribbon on both the sides. Now it's time to do the bottom edge ribbon. So you may start on any stitch, slip stitch and join to any stitch anywhere. And place a single crochet in the same stitch first and one single crochet in each of the stitches all around and then work the ribbing part for ribbing part the first round will be your double crochet round and then you do the ribbing as you did for the armholes but you need to work at least six rows of ribbing alternating front post and back post so continue placing one single crochet each on each of the stitches all around so complete the single crochet round At the end of the round, I have slip stitch and joined. Now it's time to make one double crochet each on each of the stitches all around. Let me begin with my favorite standing twisted double crochet. You can alternatively make chain 3 and begin. And place one double in each all around. So after this round, it's your rib stitch round. So one FPDC, one BPDC as you did for your armholes and the neckline. But number of rounds will be more for the bottom. It may be up to the length required by you. Whatever length you decide, it should not be more than 2 inches. It won't look good. So let it be between somewhere between 1.5 to Two inches and uh, in number of rounds it can be around six or seven max okay so I shall complete and get back so completed the rest by working the ribbing on the armholes the neck and the bottom edge for the bottom edge I have worked around five rounds of post stitches okay thank you friends for viewing this video hope you liked it do post your comments and do post uh, your requirements for the calls so that whatever is possible we'll take it up one at a time if you happen to be the first time you are for a channel please do subscribe and if you have not yet subscribed to please do subscribe like and share our videos do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you get notified of the videos that we upload every other day bye for now have a great day